Someone told me in a discussion a while back that sarcasm is a tool of weakness, for lack of a better term. I don't recall the actual discussion. It just popped into my head and I thought I would share. That sarcasm is something that people use more or less in a nutshell when people are uncomfortable or when they can't handle something and that it's something that should be overcome or uh, I guess avoided in life. And uh, I've thought about this for a few months. It's been a while. And I thought I would make a little video and talk about it. I've thought a lot about sarcasm and cynicism. And when I was younger, I made a lot of really foul jokes. First off, when I was nine years old, I found a book in my parents' drawer called Outrageously Offensive Jokes. And it started out with black jokes. It went on to Mexican, to Jewish jokes. You name it, everything was in there. It was the most offensive joke book that you could imagine. Today it would be considered X-rated by today's woke standards. Uh, it didn't make me a racist. It didn't make me a hater. It didn't make me a bigot. Um, I looked at it, and even as a nine-year-old kid, when I found it, I thought, this is absurd. These are stupid fucking jokes. But there was always side of me that kind of joked around about things like that. And in fact, I used to use plenty of curse words and derogatory words when I was a teenager. And uh, had more than my share of, you know, uh, uh, crap over it. But never as much as people are getting today over saying in the, even the slightest thing that might trigger somebody's, you know, insecurity or accusing someone else of being something they aren't, like a racist, a hater, a bigot. And I can see the people who suffer because of this, who don't mean any harm, especially the comedians that suffer. I have another channel called Cynical Skeptical Citizen, which was originally something totally different, a different channel, but I have modified it a few times over the years. And, uh... <clears throat> It was cynical citizen, but I'm a cynic and I'm a skeptic. I think that when people hear the term cynical, they tend to think of somebody who rolls their eyes or doesn't believe anything or is always, you know, poking holes, what, how, however you might perceive it. Cynics were a group of people in history, but uh, skeptics as well. The idea that you're just questioning everything you hear, everything you learn, Everything you want to believe, especially. Because the most important thing we can do is question what we want to believe. Because usually that is where we get caught up. I think that cynicism, skepticism, sarcasm are all tools for us to make it through this crazy life. Animals themselves might have feelings, they might have language, they might have ideas, they might even share a language that we don't understand. But the one thing that I think it's, it's safe to say that humans have that's, you know, unique is uh, our ability to be sarcastic and cynical. In fact, it's so subtle that not even other humans can pick up on it. You can't imagine that it, you know, any other species of animal could pick up on cynicism or sarcasm. It amazes me that more humans don't get this. But I guess I just wanted to point out the fact that people who are cynical, people who are sarcastic, who make a lot of jokes, not necessarily the quote jokers, but the people who don't take things too seriously and always have some you know, bullshit joke to crack or an answer about things aren't necessarily don't necessarily think the way that you might think they think. In other words, I tend to be an extreme skeptic where I question everything. Even things that I myself might believe. If somebody presents an idea that I believe myself, I might say, oh yeah, prove it. 
people take it the wrong way and assume, oh, you've got to do your research. Like, no, I really want to know why you think what you think. We misinterpret each other a lot, right? We know it happens through text, through messaging, through te uh, comment sections all the time. So, obviously, it's going to happen during comedy, sarcasm, things like that. So I think we need to give each other a little bit of a break and realize when we're joking around. And uh, as best we can. That's all I wanted to say. Peace out. Take care of each other. Give a shit about one another. And realize that there's nothing really worth taking that serious in the outside world there. You just kind of like float along. <laughs>